If you're looking for the absolute cheapest coins right now in Madden 22, head on over to AOEAH.com and use code Poodle at checkout. Don't miss out. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have Rising Stars. It's Wildcard Wednesday, guys. And don't think that anything, there's anything wrong with Wildcard Wednesday today. This is the one of the better content drops we've gotten all year, guys. This is a crazy Wildcard Wednesday. I'm telling you, the Rising Stars are absolutely insane. All five of them could start and probably will start on your team. Not to mention, guys, one of the QBs get Gunslinger. Which, if you guys don't know, Gunslinger is the glitchiest pretty much ability you want on any player in the game, which is up for quarterbacks, right? It pretty much gives you a severe, like, significant advantage, right, on offense. So, one of the quarterbacks at Gunslinger, I never thought I'd say this. You're going to see it, though. Two New York quarterbacks are the two best quarterbacks in the game. It's wild. But, guys, before we get into today's video, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Give us a big thumbs up, guys. And, of course, Rising Stars are super cheap. They're on, like, 150, 200K. You guys could pick up all five of them with my sponsor. If you go ahead and over there, you can get a million coins for under 50 bucks with my code. Under 50 bucks, you can get all five of them. Make sure you go check it out. Stack up your team. These cards are awesome. First things first, though, guys, you do get a free one. You also get one of them for free. Don't forget about that, which I will go ahead and show you. If you guys go ahead to your Rising Star solos... Here you can see, I already have three of them done. I would have finished this NTN one, Yitiani, but I, I quit it because I was had to record. But one more solo to go. Well, two more solos to go. Once you complete these five solos, they take like five seconds. No joke. They're so quick. You finish them, you go to milestones. At 20 stars, you do get your wild card Wednesday week one through four pack, guys. You will get a pack that shows you every single drop. So wild card, heavyweight, um, heavyweight, flashback, veteran, and rising stars. You can pick one of those packs, and that pack will contain all the players from that drop, and you can go ahead and pick your free one. So if I had to be honest, guys, you're either taking you're either taking the heavyweight pack and going Montez Sweat, but in my opinion, you're going with the Rising Stars. You have to. They're all 89 overalls, and they're fire. As you guys can see here, guys, the Rising Stars. We got Sertain, Wilson, Etienne, Jalen Waddle, and Divine Diablo. Now you may not know who Divine Diablo is because I sure as hell didn't, but he's amazing, amazing. You're gonna you're probably gonna take him actually, which is the crazy part about it. Now make sure you play your solos, guys. Get that done. Get your free player, free 89 overall today. You really don't want to miss out on that, honestly. It's crazy. Now, the more important thing here, if we head on over to the store, of course, there's the pack to do it. I personally would just go get my... If you guys want to get it, I'd never really do the rerolls on them personally. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, if you head on over to training, you'll see it over here. Rising Star Player, 4K training. Honestly, not really worth it in my opinion. It says contains 89 to 90 overall Rising Stars. It's just... It's a lot. It's a lot of training, quite honestly. I really don't think it's worth doing. I'd much rather go ahead and pick them up. Now, again, like I said, make sure you guys are playing your solos. You don't want to go ahead and miss out on that, on that free player. Trust me. Go get that done. They do expire each and every week. So make sure you're doing that. I'm going to go finish mine after this video. Who am I going to take? I'm going to go through all the stats here, and I'll, I'll give you guys an idea of what my thought process is. Now, I said 89 to 90 overall, so it almost seems like there's a 90 overall, which I don't really understand. I didn't see a 90 overall. Um. Oh, sorry. Sertain was 90 overall. I knew that. I knew that, but that's that's why it's not worth it because 4K you only get your your training back if you go with him. So it's funny enough here. So Etienne and Jalen Waddle are the cheapest one. We kind of expected this to happen though. They're good cards. The problem is there's just a lot of cards like them, which is the problem. Travis Etienne, right? For a rising star, you expect trash. 90 speed, 91 excel, 89 agility. If you're a Jags fan, guys, this is this is the card for you. If you were you know a Clemson guy, this is the card for you. 81 carrying, 78 catching, 88 change of direction, 77 truck, 75 break tackle. So you're getting. Top tier speed, excel, agility, and change of direction. Not to mention you're getting 85 jumping, you're getting 78 catching, 80 short route running, you're getting 90 juke move. This card's good. This card's really, really good. They all can be powered up. Remember, you do get their free one free power-up card. So make sure you do take the power-up card of the Kai. You take Nat. Because you don't want to take a power-up card of a guy you're not taking Nat, because then you gotta go buy the Nat one because he's he's Nat, right? But this card's good. Travis Santani's good. He's only the worst one of the, probably the bunch, only because for one simple reason. We have Reggie Bush, we have Saquon Barkley, we have LaDainian Tomlinson, we have Priest Holmes. There's so many running backs at that same speed threshold and stuff. It's really just not, it's nothing special. It's not, you know, it's not different. Next, we got Jalen Waddle. Again, another guy, same thing. The only reason that he's not higher, and Waddle's a cool name, you know, top top six pick. 91 speed, 89 jumping, 85 catching, 88 deep route running, right? What is the problem with him? The problem is we have a free Tyree kill, we have a base Tyree kill, we have a free Jamar Chase, we have Brandon Marshall, we have Calvin Johnson, we have... The list goes on and on and on. There's so many guys just like him, but he's good. He's, again, a good card. If, if you didn't get the free Tyree kill, right? You didn't get the free Tyree kill. You don't have the free Devin Hester. And you can't afford to actually go ahead and buy some cards and improve your team like that. 
hey Jalen Waddle, you're getting a 92 speed 92 speed wide receiver powered up remember that, that that's insane do not miss out on an opportunity to get him 91 change of direction 90 juke he's gonna be one of the ultimate playmakers with the ball in his hands right now threshold the last in your team for a pretty long time too the only thing is like I said if you, if you have Tyreek Devin Hester and all those guys you really don't need him but a lot of people don't so I mean if you don't have those go ahead and get them but that is why a lot of the price are gonna be significantly down because people a lot of people a lot of people don't have both but at least one of the people have at least one they probably feel that that covers the the aspect of what they need next the vine diablo guys this guy goes absolutely crazy i'm telling you this is the guy you're gonna want in your team this may be this probably will be my pick him or certain divine diablo 90 speed 91 excel 89 tackle 83 play rec 83 pursuit 78 man 82 zone 90 hit power you're getting a 90 speed 91 excel 91 90 hit power safety powered up with track cards you'll have 91 speed 92 excel 91 hit power 90 tackle 90 pursuit he's gonna be almost all threshold 90 over oh he's six foot three 226 that is absolutely absurd you're getting the best user in the game the best user in the game. He's actually probably better than Ed Reed. What I would probably do is though, I'd keep Ed Reed at safety. I'd put Cam Chancellor and Ed Reed at safety. And then put Divine Diablo in the box. Six foot three user over the middle at safety. But in the box, right? That could be really good. Or put Cam in the box, put him down. But Cam's really fast. You probably want him deep with all the burning, you know, in my opinion. You got 88 jumping, 70 catching, which is really good. 85 change of direction. And his block sheds an 84. 81 press this card is absolutely ridiculous you're gonna want a divine diablo card i actually had no idea who this guy was up until about 10 15 minutes ago but he's insane next guys we gotta keep going down we have two more to go here and again they just keep getting pretty i mean like in my opinion zach wilson may be better than divine diablo the only thing is that he's a quarterback so i don't recommend taking your nat card as a quarterback i mean you don't want a nat card 89 overall quarterback you'd rather have a safety or corner zach wilson 82 speed great speed 91 throw power insane throw power 88 short 85 medium 87 deep great accuracy 88 throw on the run 88 play action 87 excel is really good as well 81 change of direction he gets 82 juke move he gets 83 throw under pressure and the beauty of this car guys he gets gunslinger he's a strong arm qb nine we have to power him up by the way to get gunslinger powered up with the free power up strong arm qb guys you're getting a gunslinger quarterback this is the first gunslinger qb in the game We've been waiting for this. Matt Stafford could have gotten it if they gave him the plus one. It almost feels like they didn't do it on purpose. It's crazy. Daniel Jones and Zach Wilson are the two best quarterbacks in Mutt, and they're both New York trashy team quarterbacks, right? It's it's insane to think about, but that's crazy. Sorry for the slower load times here. I have the old Xbox right now because I don't. I had to get my my new Xbox repaired, so that's been gone. And guys, we have Sertain as the final one, and Sertain's another goon. He's good. He's really good as well. He's a man-to-man -man 90 overall cornerback. Also, guys, when, when picking your guy, he's a 90 overall. I'm leaning towards Sertain because, again, I could just buy Diablo for cheaper. He's a 90 overall. He's going to be more expensive by default. He goes, he'll have a 90 speed, 90 excel, 90 agility, 91 jumping, 90 man coverage, 90 zone, 90 press. He'll be all above. He'll have above 90 man, zone, press, speed, excel, agility, and jumping. This card's insane. And he's six foot two, 202 pounds, 66 catch, 90 change of direction. 90 change of direction. Guys, this card's an absolute beast. He may be the best corner in the game or at least close to it. He's crazy. 78 hit power. This card's absolutely insane, guys. If I had to rank him, right, I would take Travis Etienne last because, again, I don't think I need a running back. I like to change those two. He would probably be last, and I don't think he has the weight that I want either. Um, fourth, fourth place after Etienne, probably Waddle. Again, nothing against Waddle great free speed i just have too much speed and next in my opinion it would probably come down to wilson diablo and uh certain wilson at three not my wilson might be my favorite but in terms of taking a free one wilson's a quarterback i wouldn't recommend taking him actually if it was to take a free one i'd probably put wilson in front of, at four and pound it and danny but two and one has to be certain and diablo guys these are just difference makers on defense again best one overall wilson gunslinger if you're taking a free one He's probably at three or four. So if you're taking your free one, guys, I'm taking Divine Diablo or Sertain. I'm probably leaning towards Sertain because he's the higher priced one. I'd rather just take Sertain for free and then buy Diablo separately in the 100k range. Now, if you guys don't have coins and you're working with a budget squad and you can't afford them, best bet would be actually go ahead and take the guy you want because you can't buy two anyways. But if you have coins, take the most expensive one, which is going to be Sertain or Zach Wilson. But again, I would take Sertain. I'd buy the other ones because I'll sell Wilson eventually. But Sertain and Diablo are probably guys I don't mind keeping that on my team. Sertain's insane. That's about it. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell. If you guys need coins, pick them up. Heading over to my sponsor. Pick up a mill for under 50 bucks and ball out. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.